happening now on CelebTV.com. Did America's Next Top Model violate the eligibility requirements for the show? And why the newly crowned model may be more experienced than we thought? The beauty industry can sometimes be an ugly business. Hi everyone, I'm Kelly Zink for CelebTV.com. New allegations are surfacing that America's next top model may not be so worthy. Recognize this pigtailed passenger? It's America's newest top model, Celicia Stowers, back in 2006 hawking the jalapeno cheddar double melt. Wednesday night, Stowers may have won top honors in Tyra Banks' catwalk competition, but now people are wondering, was it really fair? Rule number 10 on top model requirements states that you must not have previous experience as a model in a national campaign within the last five years, including, but not limited to, appearances on television and print advertisements. So what would you call that burger commercial? CelebTV.com contacted Tyra's camp, however, there was no response by our broadcast deadline. Up next, was someone hiding something? Celicia Stowers and the show are open about Celicia's past relationship with host Tyra Banks, admitting that as a teen, she participated in Tyra's T-Zone camp. But the Wendy's ad is something different. And now the CW board is a buzz over whether Celicia should have won. One blogger says, On the show they mentioned that Tyra knew Celicia from her camp, but she never said anything about how much she actually knew her and how much major modeling she has done. Remember how the judges said Chantal was too amateur? Well, compared to Celicia, she should have won because Celicia was already rolling into the industry. Top model winner Celicia received the show's grand prize package of a management deal with Elite Model Management, a $100,000 contract with CoverGirl Cosmetics, and a cover story and six-page fashion spread in an issue of Seventeen magazine. Not too shabby. For CelebTV.com, I'm Kelly Zink standing by for breaking news.